Your surgeon may perform laparoscopic lysis of adhesions, or laparoscopic adhesiolysis, to remove scar tissue from the organs in your abdomen. Normally, the surfaces of your abdominal organs are slippery and move easily past one another as you go about your daily activities. If you have bands of scar tissue in your abdomen, called adhesions, your abdominal organs stick to each other or to the abdominal wall. These adhesions can cause bowel obstructions by constricting your intestines or twisting or pulling them out of place, partially or completely blocking food or stool from moving through them. If you are a woman, adhesions can also cause infertility by twisting or pulling your fallopian tubes out of place, partially or completely blocking fertilized eggs from reaching your uterus, where a baby can grow and develop. The most common cause of abdominal adhesions is abdominal surgery. Other causes can be abdominal infections such as peritonitis, inflammatory conditions such as appendicitis, abdominal trauma, or radiation. Before the procedure, you will be given general anesthesia, which will put you to sleep. Your surgeon will inject gas into your abdomen to expand the abdominal cavity, making it easier to see the structures inside. Then your surgeon will make a small incision to access the inside of your abdomen. He or she will insert a laparoscope, which contains a light, a camera, and a magnifying device. The laparoscope will project images onto a TV monitor to guide your surgeon's work. After examining the abdominal cavity, your surgeon will make three or four small incisions in your abdomen through which to pass surgical tools. Using these tools, your surgeon will cut the adhesions to free the organs from each other. Once all of the adhesions are divided, your surgeon will remove the laparoscopic tools and close the incisions with stitches. After your procedure, you will be monitored in the recovery room. You may go home the same day or stay in the hospital for up to three days. To help your recovery, keep the incision sites clean and dry. Take pain medication as directed by your doctor. Avoid heavy lifting and do not drink carbonated beverages for two days.